the time and it was about 18 and it started to thin out a bit um, and initially it was in that sort of thin stage where it was just very texturized um, but it rapidly started to disappear and by the time of about 22 23 then it was it was really becoming noticeable yeah um, and obviously working within the modeling industry you're very aware of how you look um, so yeah it, it was it was panic stations actually yeah. you know um, and people don't really understand your entire face changes yeah. when you start to lose your hair. Oh yes. Yeah. And then once that happens, everything inside changes then too. So, um, well, I did the um, what everybody does, combing it from every direction. Um, there's actually some footage of me from way back when, of, and you see me from the back, and I've combed it all the way up. It's terrible. Um, and then I got into the hat stage, which is I wouldn't go anywhere unless I could wear a hat. So I was be that restaurants and nightclubs and places where I couldn't go to because I couldn't wear my, my trusted baseball cap. Um, I did the colouring in <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to try and hide the skin to blend it in. And I mean all of them work for a short period of time but it is a short period of time. Yeah. Um, there only is the one solution which is this. Awesome. Uh, to yeah. be honest I didn't find you first. Yeah. Oh, okay. um, I was using a different place and I wasn't happy with what, with what I was getting. Yeah. Um, so I did a bit of research. I, I won't mention any names yeah. obviously um, but I, I had been through a couple of places before I came here. I've been coming here now for about 10 years um, and it literally was, you know it sounds cheesy but it literally was finding the nirvana of hair.